Hello and welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial hosted by Hainswatt Southwest. In this video we will cover how to allocate the new VAT reverse charge within QuickBooks. If you would like to learn more about when this charge is applicable, please check out our webinar which is linked below. The initial step in this process will be to switch on the CIS module. If you have not already done this, you will need to go to Settings Cog in the top right hand corner. Next, go to Account and Settings. Once in here, go to Advanced and find the CIS option. Next, you will need to click into the CIS option and fill out your CIS details as relevant. If you are a CIS subcontractor, at this point, tick the box and select your CIS rate. After this, click Save. Now, we have to turn on the relevant VAT codes. To do this, navigate back to the home screen. Make sure you're in Taxes. Edit VATs, edit rates, and then you want to click on the gear icon, include inactive, and select the two reverse charge CIS codes, which are the 20% and 5%, like so. Now we are going to look at how to make one of our suppliers a subcontractor. To do this, go to the supplier ledger and find the supplier that you would like to allocate as a subcontractor. In this example, we are going to use a supplier named John. To make the change, click on Edit. Make sure the Is a Subcontractor box is ticked, and then fill out any necessary information below, and then click Save. This can also be done for any contractors through the same method, but going through the Invoicing tab, and then to Customers. Here we have an example of a bigger company, which would be a contractor for smaller subcontractors. We can click into this one, and again, click on edit, and make sure that the box is ticked. Without making these changes, QuickBooks will not recognize either of these customers or suppliers as contractors or subcontractors. Therefore, it is essential to tick this box on either your subcontractors or contractor. This part of the video relates to subcontractors who want to raise a sales invoice to their contractor. HMRC have specified that there needs to be a narrative to inform the contractor that the new VAT reverse charge has been utilised. Therefore, a new custom form style invoice needs to be created. To do this, go to Settings, Accountant Settings, Sales, and customize invoice. Here you want to click on new style, invoice, and rename the invoice so you know it relates to the CIS VAT reverse charge. Next, switch over to content and click on this bottom box here. In this box here, we want to copy the narrative suggested by HMRC. For reference, this is the guide given by HMRC and we can see their invoice example. I'm simply going to copy and paste their suggestion into our box here. I've also copied this in the YouTube description so you can just copy and paste it straight from there. Next, click done. Now that you have created your template, you can click on new and under customers, click on invoice. As normal, select your customer, insert your date, invoice number, and it should auto-select with your labour standard. If you wish to put a service date in description, you can do so. I'm going to put the amount in here, and as you can see, QuickBooks automatically calculates the CIS deductible. If your contractor is VAT registered, you will need to use the reverse charge VAT code here. Simply click on the drop down and either select the 20% or 5% code depending on the VAT rate of the job. If you have any materials that are charged for the job, you can put these in here using the CIS materials code. Input the amount. And again, this will be liable with the 20% or 5% CIS code. Now to make sure you are using the template that you have just created, Click on Customize and select the VAT reverse charge for CIS template. 
Now you can click on print or preview and again and you will see your invoice with that narrative suggested by HMRC. And now you can send out the invoice as normal knowing that the CIS and VAT have been correctly accounted for. This next part of the video relates to contractors who receive bills from their subcontractors. In this case the VAT reverse charge will only be applied if both parties are VAT registered. Therefore, if your subcontractor is not VAT registered, you can treat the supplier bill as normal. For those that are VAT registered, you'll have to click on New, and then Bill. Enter the subcontractor name as per the bill that you have received. Enter the date and bill number. As we have enabled this supplier as a subcontractor, QuickBooks has pre-filled this box with the CIS cost standard. If your supplier is not set up in this way, check back to step 2 to find out how. Enter the amount on the bill and also the reverse charge VAT code which the subcontractor should be using. If the subcontractor has not used this code where they should have, you will need to ask them to reissue the bill to you so that you can correctly account for it on your software. If there are any materials on the invoice, also put these in now. which are also liable to the same VAT code. As you will see, the CIS has only been deducted from the labour amount. Now we can choose to save and close the bill. And as you can see on the banking tab, because we have paid this bill already, QuickBooks is allowing us to match it to the bill we just created. Once we click match, QuickBooks will mark this as paid and the CIS will show up in the CIS return section. For example, I will mark this one as matched and now move over to taxes and CIS and now if we prepare a turn we can now see that £24 of CIS that was on the labour of the bill we just added. Now if you choose to set up the CIS with your CIS details you could submit straight to HMRC from this window otherwise if you choose to submit through the government gateway you can select this drop down and simply mark as filed. Thank you for watching our QuickBooks tutorial I hope this solved any dilemmas you may have had. If you have any further queries, don't hesitate to contact us.